In this week's reading on page 37, it talks about 10 biblical reasons to give 10% or more of your income to the Lord's work. Number three says, it will bring God's wisdom and order to your finances. I'd like you to think for a moment with me. If I got up this morning, imagine with me if I took the first button in this jacket and I put it in the second hole. You know, I'd have a bit of a mess on my hands. And if I then went and tried to fix it by saying, well, now I'm gonna take this, it, this button and I put it in the first hole, now I have a real mess on my hands. The reality is, is that there's nothing wrong with the buttons, there's nothing wrong with the buttonholes, but the order is all wrong. Here's what I've learned about finances. Giving to God is the first button of your financial life. When you get that right, when you get that in place, everything else falls in line. But if you make giving a second priority or third priority or fourth priority in your finances, you're gonna have a mess on your hands. You're gonna have pressure, you're gonna have stress, you're gonna have pain, you're gonna have difficulties. And the reality is, is when you learn to honor God with what He gives you, whether you have little or whether you have much, if you learn to give to God first from whatever you have, you will bring God's order to your finances. The reality is here, the solution is not to try to keep working with these buttons. The need is to get the order right. And so the thing to do is to make first things first. And in this case, the button of giving needs to be done first. When you get paid, when you get an income, give to God first. And then everything else will begin to fall in line. You'll begin to have God's wisdom in your finances. And you'll make the right choices about all the other areas of your life. But it starts with honoring God with whatever you have.